Hey guys, this is Jonathan from Woodland Gear of MyWoodlandGear.com. Today we're going to be doing a quick review of the Gerber Strong Arm. So grab your gear and let's get ready for our next Woodland Adventure. Alright, so let's uh, take a closer look at the strong arm really quick. First thing you'll notice is that it's fairly heavy. It's about 10.9 ounces overall. That's just shy of three quarters of a pound. Um, the knife overall is about 9.75 inches. The blade is 4.9 inches with full tang construction. All right, here you'll see the tang of the blade comes through the pommel to a point. This is for breaking glass. You can also use it for flint napping or chipping rocks and that, that kind of thing. It has a, a rubberized handle, which is really good and slip resistant. Uh, the blade thickness is 0 0.19 inches thick. Uh, for comparison, this is the Mora Companion. And uh, as you can see, it's a, quite a hefty blade. That's uh, probably about three, three Mora Companions. All right, the knife material is 420 high carbon stainless steel. This is uh, the same kind of material that Buck Knives tends to use for their knives. Um, it's got a, a drop point blade shape. I don't know if you can see that. But I just where the top of the blade just dips down just a little bit as it curves around the knee. All right, the sheath itself is a, a molded polymer. Right. The belt loops, they do detach. And then you're just left with the polymer sheath. And that could be used for things like molly. It is a molly compatible or appendix carry or horizontal carry, things like that. All right, so next we're gonna do a couple of field tests of the Gerber strong arm and put it through a couple situations that an actual survivor might actually be in. All right, so first we're just gonna go ahead and uh, baton through this log and put it into kindling sized pieces of firewood. All right, so next we're gonna to try to get a couple of uh, feather stick curls. This might be a little more difficult considering how thick the blade is, but we'll give it a try.
Well, the it actually made some pretty decent curls, but the majority of them were very large and fat, and that's to be expected for this size knife. But the, the important thing is that you can get it done in an emergency, or if you're careful enough, you can make some pretty, pretty fine shavings. Also, if you're lucky enough to actually catch a fish in a survival situation, it may be a little difficult and a little haphazard, but the Gerber strong arm can get the job done of cleaning and scaling the fish. The 90 degree spine works really well for getting off those pesky scales. Next, we're gonna check to see how much of a 90 degree spine this actually has. It feels fairly sharp and sturdy. And we're gonna see if we can get some sparks off the ferro rod with it. Alright guys, that's going to be pretty much it for today's video. Uh, my overall opinion of the Gerber Strong Arm is a, that it's a really good and sturdy survival knife. Not so much for bushcraft and fine tasks, although it could get the job done in an emergency. Um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give us a like, comment down below, or subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can find more videos just like this one. Thanks for watching, and remember, adventure is waiting. <laughs>